Buganda Road Chief Magistrate's Court has temporarily rejected a move by government to subject Makere researcher Dr. Stella Nyanzi to mentor examination at Butabika Hospital. This means that proceedings against Nyanzi under the Mental Treatment Act 1938 will not proceed pending the determination of Nyanzi's petition at the Constitutional Court, but she will only stand trial on charges of cyber harassment and offensive communication, which is slated to start next month. In his ruling, Eremie Mawanda, the Buganda Road Chief Magistrate, said... He has evaluated the uncontroverted evidence by affidavit from Dr. Nyanzi and he's satisfied that this is a good case for a stay of proceedings under the MTA to allow the Constitutional Court to exercise her jurisdiction without this court rendering the applicant's petition nugatory. Dr. Nyanzi is challenging the legality and constitutionality of the impugned provisions of the MTA in the Constitutional Court. She was overjoyed over the ruling. I have become a disbeliever in our justice system. Suddenly out of the blue because of this ruling, I got an unexpectedly just result. The uh, petition is going to happen in the Constitutional Court. This magistrate has allowed to stay the mental treatment act processes of testing my head. I don't know what for the, I don't know what the state is looking for in my head. I want to recognize the fact that there are some judges who are still unbiased. There are some judges who still stand for the principles of justice and truth in this country and whatever else the outcome may be, I'm celebrating this morning. On April 10, 2017, Dr. Nyanzi, 42, was charged with two counts of cyber harassment and offensive communication under Section 24 and 25 of the Computer Misuse Act 2011 before the Magistrates' Court.